Hey guys, it's Jeremy here. I'm going to be showing you five quick shortcuts you can use to maximize the pen tool. First up, the first shortcut is P. P is for the pen tool. You'll see your mouse will change the little pen nib. Make sure your caps lock is off because if it is, you'll get this little X pop up on your, on your mouse. So make sure caps lock is off. P, once you've done that, you can pretty much start clicking. So once I click, it will create a path. You can see if I connect the path or join a path, it will create a shape. If I delete that, I'll start again and press P. I can click, and this time we're going to click and drag. So instead of just clicking once, I'm clicking and dragging. I'm going to go to this circle here. Shortcut number two is holding control. So if I select, my, select the object, press P for the pen tool, and if I hold down control, it's going to be command on the Mac. I can pretty much move the object. Or if I left click once on an anchor point, I can actually just move the anchor point. So that's by holding control. The third shortcut is using Alt or Option. So it will be Alt for a Windows and it will be Option for a Mac. So if I select my object and I hold Alt, you'll pretty much get this anchor point tool which I can move around the handles. And what this allows us to do is to curve out the points. So if I do it on an anchor point, it will do both handles. As you can see, it starts to curve the point. If I just do it on, on the handle itself, I can actually, while holding Alt, I can move that and it's going to just use that one side. If I'm making a path, and you can see this path has a two points here. If I do the same thing by holding Alt, I can actually alter the direction of the handle by holding Alt, clicking and dragging out. I can also just drag this handle here. And you can see it will alter the curve location, as you can see that. So I can alter the curve rotation, as you can see like that. The fourth shortcut is using Shift C. This will get the tool up again. So you can see I've got the point convert tool here. And once again, I can use this. I can alter the points here, alter the handles as I please. If you left click on the points, you can see it stops the curves and just makes it a straight point. And number six is using the plus and minus keys. So plus and minus, you can see my mouse has changed. So if I use minus, it will, it will change to minus anchor point. So if I left click once on that anchor point, it will delete that. If you can see, I can plus anchor points. If I go to the path, I can click on the path and it's going to add anchor points. I can use the selection tool and just move those out like that. Plus, you can left click, and also the shortcut is if you hold Alt or Option, instead of pressing the plus or minus keys on your keyboard, I can just do it quicker like this. So if I, if I hold Alt, it'll plus, if I let it go, it'll just, I can do minus. So there you have it, there's some quick shortcuts for the pen tool. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if this was helpful or not, or if you want me to slow down a little bit. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more design content every week, and hope you guys have an amazing day.